uh, worried about um, uh, any competition with the dot .eu. But when dot .eu was uh, was delegated, they uh, they um, uh, they noticed that there is not any effect because it is not the same part of the market. Uh, we have also dot .asia. It's uh, the same. But the most important uh, example is dot .cat Catalanian. Um, the um, uh, the dot uh, the dot uh, e es was very um, worried about uh, the delegation of dot cat but they not said that after dot cat they had more uh, registration so i don't think we we have to think it uh, about it as a competition it is more i think it is more uh, uh, i think that uh, the the successful of dot africa will be uh, uh, by the, s the African CCLDs, would be uh, uh, empowered by the African CCLDs. And I think that Dot Africa can also empower the African CCLDs. If, unless we if there are any, yes. Uh. Yes, uh, thank you. Um, uh, before my question, just an answer. Can you please introduce about, yourself? Uh, what uh, I just heard. I think the. Please, uh, can you introduce yourself before uh, speaking? Mawake Chango APC, Association for Progressive Communications. I, I think the concern about competition between uh, uh, geographic, regional, uh, domain name, and, uh, and the CCTLD uh, kind of tend to leave out the. Um, the branding aspect of it. And I think once you start thinking about the branding aspect, you realize that it's not a, com it's not a zero sum game competition we are dealing with. Um, my question is regarding to the ICANN process. Um, <coughs> I'm not sure on what basis ICANN has accepted that an application be changed after the application was submitted. I don't know if you have understood that process and I would like you to comment on that. And uh, I, I wanted also to uh, ask you whether ICANN has consulted with you before making the decision. Thank you. Thank you, Mawaki. Any other question, comment? If not, we'll uh, start replying and taking the next round. Uh, first, Mary. Uh, thank you. Um, I agree. I said cooperation, cooperate cooperation and not competition, cooperation, because if um, a Dot Africa project is successful, the CCT has enumerated all the benefits we are going to gain from that. So it's a cooperation and not competition that we'll see. And uh, just as it happens in EU and other, they are doing very well on there. And I also said that we should concentrate on those E-governance in our countries should be stepped off because I know that um, um, uh, Nigerian agri, Nigerian uh, ba uh, what was it called, Nigerian banks, um, central bank, Nigerian um, 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 uh, sectors, all the sectors, whether it's agri or commerce or or or. or um, telecoms, any of the sectors would like to put their statistics on .ng, all right? So they and they are on different platforms. So it's cooperation. Thank you. For the icon uh, changing name, I think Alice will be in a better position to do. That. Okay. Uh, first, uh, let us. Uh yeah. Peter, to thank. I would like just to respond to the question. Okay. Um, yeah, we were surprised, and I think yeah, uh, they ICANN did not put forward any uh, legitimate, I say, justification for this change. Uh, we were not consulted uh, on this process uh, as an affected party, and uh, if you check our website, and also in term, there's a statement has been issued by uh, by by the project by Uniform also. Uh, stating uh, our position, um, uh, we, we are very concerned about this, and um, uh, we think uh, the the change request shouldn't be uh, at the first place. Yeah.
Can you come and fix the mic? Micro, please. Please. Where is the micro? Could you have it, Tijani? Please, can you take the podium? No, no, he's bringing you one. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you. I think that uh, uh, I can fix a period for uh, this kind of uh, review for all applicants. So it is not something which is uh, tricky or something like this. It is, uh, a, it is uh, something that was planned. So don't, don't think about it like this. It is, we, we, we are not, it's not game. And uh, it will not change anything. If it is, even if it was dot dot Africa, it is a problem for us because there is similarity. So uh, I don't think there is a problem. I would like just to add a few words to that. The competition part, what I'm really hoping for is um, what Africa will, dot Africa will actually compete with is dot com. It'll be just as easy to get a dot Africa then as a dot com now, and except there are, it's an empty pool, you can choose the names you want. So I'm really hoping that it's dot com that's going to suffer rather than anything else. I really believe that. I would also see the relationship as being something of a, a symbiotic relationship between uh, a CCTLD and Dot Africa. They will actually live and feed off each other and grow each other uh, from that point of view. As far as the name change goes, I think it's a wonderful thing because now there is no uncertainty. It's perfect. We n only one string can survive and it just makes things so much easier. Uh, Nena? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, I've got a question. Yourself, please. My name is Nena. I live in Cote d'Ivoire. And we speak French. And I just wanted to clarify if the application that was made I was also made for Point Afrique. Dot A F R I Q U E and Afrikia. So, what other declinations of Africa did you apply for, or did you just apply for the English name of the continent? Because it's important for nous qui It's very important for those of us to speak French and Arabic. Thank you. And first, before we give the floor to uh, Alice, please intro introduce yourself, please. My name is Ben Ako, um, and this question is to all the panelists. For uh, Thank you very much for the wonderful presentations you've made. I'd be delighted to know um, what strategies have been or would be considered for uh, addressing uh, profiling of African addresses uh, globally, um, and whether you've thought about how, I know you've mentioned how you compete against .com, or, but what strategies would you uh, put in place to make sure that uh, Males and content emerging from the African continent under the new domain name dot Africa, Africa, and dot Africa is not profiled wrongly and therefore blocked by um, other uh, systems. Uh, merci, Ben. Now, uh, Alice, can you can have the floor? Yeah, I just wanted to comment about uh, the question regarding the ICANN process uh, in terms of allowing uh, applicants to make corrections to any mistakes uh, they may have made to the applications and uh, agree with uh, Tijani uh, and also agree with, uh, with Mark here that it's actually a good thing. Uh, and uh, even GAC advisors had actually provided, you know, advice that there must be provision to allow for applicants to be able 
uh, to make corrections they may have made, especially if there are, um, you know, spelling and grammatical mistakes in nature. Um, the, regarding the question on whether we had uh, registered Afrique or Dot Afrique, um, Africa, Dot Africa is a geographic name, which means that it actually falls within uh, the context of not only, um, you know, ICANN uh, um, GAC. Uh, principles for protection of geographic names, but also the applicant guidebooks for protection of geographic names, which then means when you look at the ICANN uh, principles and GAG principles for protection of uh, geographic names, uh, which it actually says that all names shall be reserved in English and all related officially languages as may be directed by ICANN or the Government Advisory Committee. Uh, which means that all the synonyms, including, I think, the IDN versions of Dot Africa, will automatically be protected and reserved. Uh, it will not be, uh, uh, you know, allocated or, you know, delegated to, to any other party. And, that, and which means, even if they, they are, it will apply. Uh, the same rules would apply uh, in terms of, you know, more than 60% support from African governments and all the other uh, requirements. Thank you. Uh. I thank you, Alice. Uh, I would like to add that uh, uh, there is at the uh, ICANN website uh, an early warning. Uh, yes, I think um, this is part of uh, this meeting where uh, we are uh, urging government uh, who have signed, which have signed. Uh, the letter of support to Africa to fill in the form. We have already uh, completed the form, in fact, and would like to circulate it to countries to be able to upload it at the required place in order to object the Dot Connect Africa application because, as uh, it was said by several uh, speakers, it is a similar and confusing. Uh, uh, application which uh, should not be accepted by our member states. So uh, we will uh, uh, circulate um, this uh, draft to member states and we will count on all of you to approach your uh, government to be able to submit this, uh, this uh, early warning uh, objection. Uh, we will not uh, circulate it in a big list because uh, we have seen there are a lot of problems in this uh, uh, widely open list which have been uh, used and where people are attacked, people are insulted and so on. So anyone who really want to, 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 be, to get it, we will put it in lists which are moderated, at least you can uh, uh, know to whom it is going and uh, what to put on the list. Uh, without further ado, I think I'll uh, just give the floor to, to Alice to move from here and uh, we go to the last part of our, uh, our meeting. So Alice, you have the floor. Uh, thank you very much, Makan, and it's a great pleasure to be here. Um, my job is to present, uh, my name is Alice Munyo, I'm from Kenya. Uh, currently uh, working with the DOT Africa, the African Union Commission DOT Africa uh, team, uh, an initiative to develop what we're calling the reserve name policy. A good segue from what Makan has said here regarding the Gakali warning. <coughs> uh, the Gakali warning, unfortunately, fortunately is re and, and unfortunately, is reserved for only governments and governments who are members of, of the Governmental Advisory Committee and who have access uh, to the GAC early warning portal. Uh, and it's important because uh, then as when if we ensure that uh, as many African governments are able to issue early warning, then it, it, will, it may eventually form part of uh, GAC advice or objection. So uh, we, as, we be, as we continue developing the, the, Dota, the African Union Commission Dot Africa um, project, one of the things that's extremely important is to ensure that we reserve some names that are important at the regional level uh, to ensure that they are not abused. So the objective of the reserve name policy is actually to promote adoption and usage of the Dot Africa TLD, but also to deter abusive registrations. So the same, the same rules, we're trying to set up rules that will ensure that we reserve some important names at the regional level. 
So we have developed a few categories that we would like to discuss and present with you just to hear your views. We are going to put this document out in the open for public comment. Uh, we would like to follow the ICANN processes where we give all stakeholders uh, from Africa uh, and not just Africa, actually, um, any stakeholder from uh, global who is interested in the DOT Africa project uh, to provide us with comments as we, we develop this ra the reserve name policy so we can make sure that it's as robust and dynamic as possible. So one of the categories we are proposing uh, to go on the reserve name policy is governmental and public policy names. And we are, pro uh, we are providing, we are presenting three categories. The first one we are calling exclusively reserved. Uh, names and this category is designed for country and distinct economy names. For example, ensuring that Tunisia, nobody can reserve or register Tunisia unless it is the government of Tunisia, or nobody can register Dot Kenya unless it is the government of Dot Kenya. Uh, and the guidelines to that are that only a government organization uh, or a public institutions. Uh, public institution is able to file the request to reserve that name and we are developing what we are calling a reserve name portal to, en to, en to enable governments to be able uh, to engage with this process. Exclusively reserved means that even if time lapses and, the, and a particular government, Somalia, Sudan, hasn't been able to come through and reserve their country name, it remains reserved. It never goes into a list where any other, any uh, registrar can pick it up. So it remains reserved, and that's why we're calling it exclusively, exclusively reserved. We are actually benchmarking with DOT Asia here. The second category is priority reservations, and these are uh, designed for names describing geographical indication or denomination of, ori of origin, and some of them include public institution or gov government public bodies. Uh, for example, for us, the Communications Commission of Kenya, you know, uh, would I mean, that should be a reserved uh, name, for, uh, for example. And then, uh, and why we are calling it um, uh, Priority Reserve, um, the, the, the name itself should clearly distinguish the locality of the region, and it must be applied for by a government or a governmental department. Uh, and this could also, of course, include major cities, uh, Nairobi, uh, Casablanca, you know, Durban, uh, any, any of them. Uh, and it can only again be activated by relevant governments, uh, but this one um, has a time limit. So a 20-month extended time limit. Uh, and if it's not taken up, uh, it may actually go to a signed rights process where it may be taken up by any other. Uh, and then there's another category we are calling the startup reservations, of course designed for smaller cities, really smaller cities and regions, place names. Uh, and unregistered government trademarks uh, or other names and phrases. Uh, uh, and again, here, activation would only be released by governments. However, the difference with this last one is that non-activated names are going to be released uh, to the land, to, to land rush process. So any de domain that is not uh, activated from this category becomes a normally registered name in the registry. Um, that said, we will make sure that we make the best of efforts to ensure that uh, there, was, there is outreach, and this is the first time we're actually uh, outreaching with you as a community so that we can discuss this uh, and begin to hear your views on whether what the categories we have are the correct categories, should we be adding others, should the guidelines be different. Now, um, we are going to have another one, another category that's looking at cultural and linguistic and religious names. Um, and this is d designed for names that denote either cultural and linguistic heritage or religion of a country. Uh, and most, uh, the aim here is to reserve the official language of a country, for example, Zulu or Igbo. Um, so, uh, and again, the activation here will be either governments or a community. Uh, and we'll have to come up with guidelines on what that means, uh, what our community means, and we may up actually adopt uh, the ICANN guideline. And uh, Mohammed, you're welcome to actually chime in uh, if you need to. We have another category uh, called we're looking at in terms of brands and trademarks. Again, this is brand and trademarks for governmental names, um, uh, and should be part of. The, but but the, this would be part of the sunrise and land rush uh, period, which means they're not exclusively reserved and they're available for registration anyway. 
And then we have what we are calling the Dot Africa Initiative List. This is a, a reserve name list for generic names that will be used for development of the Africa region. You saw all the development projects that uh, Mohammed uh, presented there, you know, including strengthening CCTLDs and content development. We will want to reserve a few names uh, that may, may be registered uh, to denote some of the projects that the Dot Africa Initiative is going to be implementing uh, and getting engaged in. And then we're going to have a geographic list, but the geographic list here is actually going to refer to the ISO list and to the UNESCO region list and also to what ICANN provides, uh, the guidelines ICANN provides time to, to, uh, time to, and this for this one, countries can submit names and cities and not just African countries, but other countries as well. Uh, it, so it's a global geographic list, a reserve list. And then we have a ban list because we know, you know, from our continent, uh, issues to do with hate and incitement, offensive and what we may, we may consider objectionable language, highly sensitive cultural and, and, uh, and uh, religious, as well as the technical uh, two and single uh, letter domains. So that's a ban list, which means that those names would never uh, be reserved. And we need to de develop that list as well. And what we are going to be doing is working with CCTLDs at the national level and governments at the national level and also other stakeholders to develop that ban list. Although that obviously will be, uh, that, that we'll have to have discussion because a ban list in Kenya might not be exactly the same ban list in South Africa, for example. So, uh, and these discussions will also take place in different forums like this one and also on the reserve name online portal. Uh, we will also have a list for controversial names, which again is bro more broader, um, and it applies as a TLD, uh, you know, that does not fall under that that is disputed uh, for reasons in, in that it falls that, uh, for, for for either reasons, the reasons I was explaining, uh, in that it free, it infringe, in, infringes on the uh, legal rights of other people, and then we have what we call the international list, and this is the ICANN list. Uh, and ICANN is very specific, and it's actually going to be part of the contract that is signed between uh, uh, Uniforum or Dot Africa as a registry and ICANN. And there, there are four or five uh, strings that cannot be registered. Uh, the, one of them is a TLD string, other single character strings, two character strings, tag name domains, and IAN and, and ICANN names, and of course, uh, geographic names. And then you have the United Nations and inter intergovernmental organization names, uh, which we will want to, to look at and consider whether we may want to have them uh, reserved as well at the uh, Dot Africa TLD level. And then regional organizations, and that will be provided by the African Union Commission in terms of reserving, for example, NEPAD. Uh, reserving African Union Department uh, or African Union uh, initiatives, reserving COMESA, SADC, uh, the East African uh, Community, ECOWAS. Uh, those are names that I think we will want to make sure uh, go on the reserve name. And then finally, what we are calling the commercial list, which uh, these are high value premium names uh, that can be allocated during the pre land uh, rush process. And these are very, you know, high, high, high level ones like music, car, dot car, dot travel, dot travel, dot Africa, dot mobile, dot Africa, dot tourism, dot Africa. So those are the categories we are proposing and we'd really like to hear your views on whether you think they're enough, whether we've missed any, um, or whether you think some of them are not really relevant and don't need to be on this reserve name list. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Alice, for your uh explanations your proposals so colleagues uh, the floor is open to discuss uh, or comment or uh, provide input on what Alice has said and uh, what we have also discussed during the meeting thank you please can you give him the mic who has the mic Take this one, please. My question will be to anyone. Can you please introduce yourself? Apologies. My name is Ali Hussein from uh, Nairobi. My question is to anyone of the uh, Dot Africa from the Dot Africa Secretariat, and it's it's regards it's in regard to what Alice has just presented. Would there? Would there appear, be a period for Alibad um, 
registrations, so that's one. Uh, two, I would like to maybe hear a bit more from a dispute resolution perspective. So for example, you mentioned certain names, but there will be names that are global brand names, registered brand names, so Coca-Cola, Procter & Gamble, uh, and other you know, local and African brands. Uh, would there be priority on this? And if not, if, s if somebody decides uh, to go on a cyber squatting binge and register a number of these uh, names and then basically squats on them, what is the procedure uh, you know, in this kind of uh, scenario? Any other questions so that we lump the questions together? Sorry, maybe one other, uh, Please. Uh, one other issue. Um, maybe also from a, from a registrar perspective, because uh, I'm a registrar in Nairobi, would there be priority or um, preference given to African registrars as opposed to, you know, to just opening it up to all global registrants. Thank you. Smarky. Hello. Yes, I had a question about the uh, uh, conflict resolution, uh, you know, issue. But uh, the question has been uh, raised, so I just wanted to make a quick point for the record. Um, when I asked uh, earlier in the previous uh, section of the session the question about um, the decision to allow for a change in the application uh, of a new domain name, it's not, I wasn't really suggesting that that shouldn't have been the case. I, want, I wanted just to clarify whether that was based on some policy uh, provision that was clearly established and whether the, uh, the competitors were inform about the process. So I, I got uh, satisfaction with the answers. Thank you. So uh, let's give uh, the... Yes, who want to speak? Okay, Baudouin. Please introduce yourself. Baudouin from Kinshasa. Uh, I want just to ask about uh, ethnic groups. There is some ethnic groups exist uh, in two countries, and uh, how the how you can uh, register them in uh, in uh, dot Africa? Any other question? Uh, if not, uh, we give the floor to Alice. Oh, okay. There is someone who wants to speak here. We don't have any question from the remote participants. Because I just got an email from someone in Morocco say he's following up our discussion remotely. Please. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you yeah. introduce yourself? Uh, just to, 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 follow, uh, to follow up on the ethnic groups one, you might want to follow Please, up. your... Uh, oh, sorry. Alex Komninos, Association for Progressive Communications. I'm from South Africa. Uh, you might want to follow up on the... Um, dot Zulu story because there was actually some Americans who were looking to register it um, and then to add to that you've got ethnic groups I'm not too concerned about that participants and they will not hear you. I, I'm more concerned about words that might relate to African cultural heritage. Uh, Zulu is one example. There's many reasons people might want to use the word Zulu in a commercial context. So broader than ethnic groups, but you know, African words, for example, Uhuru or etc. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Michel? Please, uh, Michel, vous venez parce qu'il n'y a pas de micro apparemment. Vous venez ici. Yeah, turn the Merci. 
Euh, moi, c'est Michel Chonan du Cap d'Arc, Cameroun. J'ai deux préoccupations par rapport à la nouvelle politique de, 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 de Africa. Ah. Oh, sorry. Ok. Uh, dans... I have uh, two preoccupations about uh, dot Africa. Uh, the first is the policy that going to be put on before uh, give opportunity to many countries to get uh, uh, address to dot Africa. I'm asking is uh, you think about strategy because you know collect uh, to uh, attend any country is very difficult. And then how are you thinking that you will put strategy before reach your aim uh, about uh, dot Africa. Secondly, uh, after communication, I know that you are trying to put on uh, communication. Do you think about uh, uh, capacity building to the regional way? Thank you very much. Merci, uh, Michel. Can you give uh, Ali? Uh, sorry, there is one more qu question I wanted to ask, which I had forgotten. Uh, just, m I don't know whether this is a question or a suggestion. There are certain potentially high value domain names, uh, which are probably known as generic domain names, uh, which um, are going to be extremely uh valuable or looked for um as a way of probably raising funds for the um for the foundation uh are you going to consider holding an auction for these or are you going to just keep them open first come first serve basis this is this is a suggestion i mean uh, i think uh, because the foundation is specifically looking to improve ICTs in Africa, uh, there may be an opportunity here. Just a suggestion. Thank you, Ali. Now, uh, okay, Alizi. Just uh, the last question from yes. Tijani. It's not a question. It's only to a comment. Yes, it's only to congratulate you because re really, as a first impression, I find it comprehensive. And well done. Uh, the um, uh, the public comment will uh, sure bring other ideas. Perhaps I will think about uh, other things later. But uh, really, congratulations. Thank you. So uh, now we give the floor to the table. Alice first, and uh, Mohamed Bashir, and uh, Peter. If you have something to add. Uh, thank you very much, and thank you very much, Tijani, for that. I think, yeah, it's been quite a lot of hard work uh, benchmarking and, and putting this um, together, you know, being the first time that we are doing it. It's um, a great teamwork as well. Um, I'll start responding first to, I think, Ali's questions regarding how we are going to face especially uh, important names. Uh, this is a process which is called the Sunrise Process. Um, um, and it's usually um, a way of ensuring an orderly and equitable way of um, allocating uh, domain names qualified uh, before uh, we open uh, the registry for general registrations. Um, and we're looking at it in phases in terms of the first priority, like we're discussing now, is the reserve name policy, where we're allowing governments the priority uh, in the, and, and the community government and the community to reserve and register domains uh, that, you know, uh, f uh, under the categories that I mentioned before, geographic, linguistic diversity, cultural diversity, uh, controversial names, and, and, and a ban list. And then the second phase of the Sunrise uh, process is to allow registered trademark owners uh, to obtain domains that correspond to their m trademarks. Um, and, and, they, and they own. So that, that is the second phase of what we're calling the sunrise period. And then there's the, the third sunrise period, which allows registered companies and organizations uh, in the Dota Africa community to obtain names that correspond to their entities. Um, like if um, Ali was an organization, 
you know, you will be, that's the time you'll be able to, re to make sure that you reserve your name, obviously, um, with, you know, a time limit to buy it eventually. So that's, uh, th that's how we are approaching it. And we are going to be sharing all of these policies soon, our sunrise, our reserve name policy, uh, soon um, for, for public comment, uh, and not just the African public, but broader com uh, 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 comments. And then there was the issue of uh, linguistic protections, and I think I'd mentioned that we do, we have made a provision to ensure that we have a reserve name category for cultural, linguistic, and religious protections, and these are designed to protect uh, names that denote cultural and linguistic heritage of a country, uh, and it's to strengthen, obviously, the cultural diversity and obviously to, en to en also encourage the creation of local content and, and freedom of, of expression. Now, regarding the, the question from Alex on uh, Dot Zulu, I think you already know that there's a, a, an application for Dot Zulu even at the international level. And I think the South African government has already put in an early warning uh, and will be objecting to that because it's a distinct uh, cultural and linguistic term for a, for, 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 a, uh, for, uh, for, for a for a country and for a community in, in a country and I think we are going to have to do that as well and I think that's why we're going to be coming back to you as a community back to the CCTLD community and governments to ensure that you give us the, the names uh, these names to ensure that they are not uh, sent out to registrars uh, and that we put them in our register uh, in our reserve name portal uh, the issue of the auction, I think I'll let Mohammed and Mark respond to that, uh, and also the last issue. Thank you. Um, okay, thank you. I will, I will start with the uh, Ali uh, question. Uh, yes, we will develop a dispute resolution uh, policy. I can have a requirement to have a UDRB in place. That policy will uh, have uh, will have the process of how to uh, resolve disputes on the public registration after the sunrise finished for trademark uh, registrations. So for the trademark holders, it will be sunrise. That's, that's the initial stage where they have the right only to register names at that, at that level. Uh, that will be developed. Uh, you asked them also about the preference for African registrars. I think the message we are trying to, to say here, we will encourage uh, African businesses to enter that uh, business because we have now a very limited five African registrars, and ICANN requirement is very clear on, on that. We, we, we need to work with ICANN accredited registrars, so we'll encourage African businesses uh, to enter that uh, area of domain name business. Uh, preference, uh, that definitely that's discussion currently on the project about how we can, we can add value to African registrars. Uh, high value generic names, those uh, and uh, those will be part on the land rush. Land rush basically is an auctioning process. So that, and also that means, yes, the revenue from that land rush will come out and support the foundation, definitely. That, that's a very good suggestion. Currently, we're also considering that. Uh, Bodwin and, and Alex uh, asked about ethnic uh, names <coughs> and names with sensitivities, yeah. Uh, as, as Alice said, we're going to have a mechanism where governments and community could put forward to us names that they think that very sensitive. Uh, and we need that to come from, from you all or the communities because we, we don't know uh, really uh, how, uh, them all and it will be very difficult to, to, to manage that. Um, and then uh, uh, Michelle, uh, Michelle Lastly, asked about uh, doing a process, uh, a pol sorry, a policy now before the delegation. It is very important that we start now doing our policies because also we were preparing uh, for the delegation, and also we are consulting, uh, saving time and consulting with uh, with, uh, with the community. Yes, capacity building. We will do capacity building uh, as well. And that's that's very important uh, to us. Mark, I think you can. Add. Yeah, looking, going back to the sunrise, I expect if the sunrise period was to example last for four weeks, then the first two weeks would probably be only for African trademark holders, and then the rest of the period would be for anyone, anyone else who has a real trademark. Uh, the, the land rush process, the way I envisaged it would be um, like giant steps. So initially, if you want to go for a really cool name like travel.africa, um, depending how you feel, you can either put it in the first two weeks, which might be 
a huge 10,000 US dollars, maybe in the next period, 8,000 US dollars or something, literally going out there to see what money we could make so that we can push it back into the foundation. Uh, because if we don't do that and we sold travel.africa at, say, I don't know, $10, $18 or something, someone else is going to do exactly the same thing and that money probably would not go back into the community. This is something from a personal point of view. Uh, registry, registrar development and all the rest of it, there's a good probability that uh, something, one of our support organizations in Uniforum may in fact try and become an ICANN accredited registrar and then simply be like a portal in the same way that someone like two cows, um, two cows themselves don't really do registrations. They, they, their community that they sell to does the registrations and it's just a nice easy portal um, so that you can get things like Dot Africa or I can accredited registrar d domain names. Uh, although Uniforum does have a tradition of not competing, but there is a difficult situation of only having five ICANN accredited registrars currently in Africa. So we think a sixth, which is ourselves, may not be too much competition. We'd rather keep the US dollars in Africa if we can. Thank you, uh, Mark. Uh, Yankee, have anything to say before we wrap up? Okay, thank you very much. I don't have uh, too much thing to do. The only thing I would like to trust upon here is uh, to uh, to invite uh, the member state to uh, 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 to go to the early warning portal from ICANN and uh, make the opposition to to this uh, other um, application for the dot africa that uh, that all and uh, you can also have a uh, individual support dot africa by uh, uh, communicate with with us uh, we, by the a, 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 the any means we have like facebook also a uh, twitter and the dot dot uh, we, we dot uh, africa open a one space dot org. You can support us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay, please. Okay. Thank Excuse you. me, uh, Mr. Chair. I want to, to say something. Uh, all of we of in Africa, I need to say that Dot Africa is our baby. We need to sleep with Dot Africa. We need to wake up with Dot Africa. We need to exist with Dot Africa. So, I'm uh, taking the. I'm uh, I'm tell uh, Alice. We in uh, the GAC. I, I think it will be better for us to join ourselves before receive for the for opposition it will be very important for us to try to working together for this strategy and the other i think it will be very important to show the world that africa is talking by one person dot africa thank you very much uh, merci uh, michel uh, tijani thank you <coughs> two points. The first one, I have a, a, a big problem with auction. Because uh, auction means that the, the richer will win. And this is very bad for me. I, I, I cannot accept it. I fight it inside ICANN against the auction, but it, it, I, was, uh, uh, I didn't have support. Uh, at the African level, if we can avoid it, it will be better. I know that it, it, will, uh, it will raise money for the foundation, but there is, uh, suppose you have a, a community, a small community applying for a name, and you have a, 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 a commercial, uh, a, a big industrial uh, African that, uh, that want to apply for the same name, uh, for sure the, the rich will, will win it. And this is something that I don't accept it. This is only uh, an idea. Second point, uh, second point abo about um, uniform to be registrar. Uh, the vertical integration is there, and I, uh, I think that it must be uh, registrar for now, because we don't have registra registrar in, in Africa. And 
there is another thing that we have to do as uh, the Africa uh, community. We have to, um, uh, to, to do big effort to create new registrar in Africa. We have to help them to, because you know that uh, there are people who have money, but they don't know about uh, th this, uh, this industry. We have to uh, raise awareness. And this is something, that, uh, this is uh, uh, um, an outreach uh, effort that we have to do now. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Tijani uh, Baudouin. About, uh, okay, uh, this is about uh, this uh, problem about um, uh, Dot Africa and the uh, process for to ask the government and uh, to to make opposition. I think it will be it, uh, we must to see well because we have uh, every time difficult to convince uh, some actors in government, and I think if we, you you can uh, disseminate uh, letters. To some, uh, to some officials and also to some institutional actors like regulators also. And at uh, the same time, individuals, individually, we can contact them and to discuss them, to convince them uh, to, to make opposition uh, in, that, uh, in that process. I think if you all act like that, we can do it individually in, uh, in, uh, in the country. Thank you. Okay, uh, I think that is what I uh, wanted to say to, to conclude the meeting because we have to interact with uh, governments to be able to uh, make our voice heard, to be able to do the objections we, are, we have spoken about. We have already a form which has been uh, completed, filled. Now the important thing is to convince people, government which have already signed the Dot Africa support letter, to be able to move forward and uh, field uh, online this uh, this form. So I I uh, uh, wish to thank and congratulate all the panelists and all the participants, and uh, think that we had a good meeting, and I also wish to thank. Uh, uh, our reporter uh, uh, Nena Nwakana, who is, uh, has been always been with us uh, from uh, Cairo to here to make sure that the minutes are well taken. Uh, we wish you bon appetit and hope to see you here at 2.30 exactly for the African IGF meeting. Bon appetit, merci.